Good morning. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday, start of the work week, I suppose, here, April 7th, 2025, 1033 a.m. That's California time here. Latest earthquake here on the globe shows a 2.5. Uh, looks like a 4.4 in there as well around the, uh, maybe just around the Costa Rica area, but also a 2.5. Hiding somewhere out here in the red flag on the globe. That's going to be a tough one here can't find it anywhere all right let's go ahead and check out see what's going on here across the uh the earth today in terms of earthquake activity starting off here on the west coast uh still got a pretty good swarm of activity out here across western nevada that's been amplified out here for quite a while including you can pretty much draw a line from about carson city area southward along the mountain range and then westward here southwestward on a, um, well, just north of the Garlock Fault shear zone, uh, showing some activity. But this is a very similar pattern to what uh, took place there last year when we noticed a bunch of fours starting to kick up there across Southern California. So uh, I believe the strain out here on the plate boundary is adding that type of uh, movement that we're seeing here on the map right now. A lot of pressurization going on up north here, the interaction between the uh, Pacific and the North American plate that uh, you know obviously a little concerning because we could see some larger activity out here but uh, very noticeable pattern here across western Nevada stretching all the way back towards the uh, just south of Bakersfield a little bit of larger movement uh, not large but larger than these uh, microquakes 3.5 out in Arizona this is the second earthquake out here I believe in this region well maybe the third out around scenic arizona there's obviously some fault systems out there um, also some old old very old ancient volcanoes non-active obviously but uh, there's a number of fault systems out here all across arizona and the slip rate out here is fairly slow right it takes a long time for stress to build up on some of these active fault zones uh, but they're starting to show here. We're starting to get some notification, some noticeable earthquake activity there away from the plate boundary, well inland. And I believe it's just a sign here of the strain out against the west coast. That's the plate boundary. That's the, um, the San Andreas Fault. All these other fault systems here inland, just a, uh, you know, a result of the strain. So kind of watching that, uh, very no like I say, very noticeable pattern out here today. Uh, let's see what we got for 2.5 and above. That's pretty much removes all the earthquakes there. Uh, but again, you know, these are all microquakes, but they're still giving off a little pattern there of earthquake activity. A couple on the San Andreas Fault uh, near uh, Pinion Hills, it looks like. Very small microquakes up and down the status of the uh, Southern California region today. The Bay region. Pretty quiet up north, uh, just a couple smaller earthquakes, one right now near uh, the Tres Pinos area, 1.5, very shallow earthquake. Uh, further up north, there's a couple earthquakes there from yesterday on the Hayward Fault and also one extending north into the Rogers Creek Fault. They believe this fault system is linked underneath the Bay Area and uh, would make it, uh, well, it'd make it a fairly lengthy fault system capable of producing a larger earthquake compared to just two separate faults here. But a little bit of movement there today with a 1.0. Uh, also some activity around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field. This is just geothermal operations out here. They're taking the uh, advantage of the heated areas below to create some energy, but also at the same time it creates earthquakes. Yellowstone, or uh, Mount Lassen here. Little 2.4 that uh, well south of Mount Lassen. Lassen sits way up here, about 30 miles or so. Uh, this earthquake occurring on one of these fault systems here across the Sierra Nevada Mountains, not associated with the uh, Mount Lassen volcano. Northern California, pretty quiet, nothing going on there. Yesterday's tremor event was somewhat elevated here underneath the southwestern Oregon region. So I'm uh, surprised we haven't seen any earthquake activity, but we'll continue to watch that. Washington up here, fairly quiet as well. Just a couple smaller quakes there from yesterday. As we look at Yellowstone National Park up here, a couple smaller quakes from yesterday as well. Um, I do want to double check the Yellowstone overview here real quick. I don't always do it, but 
They've been, uh, been having a little bit of warming out there in the last couple days. Nothing big, just some periodic smaller microquake activity. Uh, right now, really not seeing much, though. Maybe a couple here in the last 24 hours, but that's that could be typical on any given day out there. Really not a whole lot of uh, movement happening there across Yellowstone. And that's good, right? We want it to stay that way. Oil fields out there, gas and oil fields still getting hit. One earthquake on the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Remember this area in the last couple weeks uh, have received, uh, man, I don't know, probably 16, 17 inches of rainfall. Literally dumping all that rainfall right on the New Madrid Seismic Zone. And been watching it, seeing if it has any adverse effects on the outcome of maybe even, you know, maybe some larger quake activity. But for now, just a... Uh, a little 1.9. That's from yesterday. So no noticeable uptick going on. In fact, you know, this is, it's very common to see an earthquake here in this area every other day, maybe a couple a day. Uh, total tally here is actually a little below normal. We've got 19 earthquakes here in the New Madrid seismic zone. You can see it quite nicely on the U.S. hazard map there. It's centered right in that region that uh, can't see a large earthquake. 1811, 1812. Had a series of upper sevens out here. Today, that would be quite devastating to the area just north of Memphis there. That would not be good. But it uh, it continues to show earthquake activity signs there. And, uh, well, we'll just have to watch it and see what happens. But a little bit below normal there in the last 30 days. One earthquake here across the Tennessee area. A little 1.5 from yesterday. Yesterday as well. Uh, there's that recent earthquake, 4.4. Looks like that is just off the coast here of Nicaragua. I was a little off on the uh, Costa Rica area. Got uh, not a whole lot of activity showing up there on the map. There is some swarming going on down there across the uh, southern end of the middle, middle America Trench. A lot of this here from yesterday, though. A lot of red rings on the globe indicating older activity. Newer movement marking its way down south across the Peru Chile Trench, but really nothing big going on down there for now. New Zealand, some older activity from yesterday. Most of the newer movement is starting to fill in up north and also here around that seismic gap zone. Uh, Five-pointers striking around Solomon Islands. Earlier this morning, it's going to be this quake right up here, 5.1, just a few hours ago. But we're starting to fill back in here. I mean, it's been absent of earthquake activity here in the last few days and now we're uh, slowly filling in better to fill in slowly instead of all at once but uh, still quite active out here in general across this entire area still seeing some aftershock sequences there following that earthquake in Papua New Guinea the 6.9 just a couple days ago deeper activity here around the Java Trench really not any newer movement to speak of here across Japan for now just got some older activity there from yesterday that uh Uh, again, that's another area that we need to watch for some larger movement, the Nankai Trough. Uh, let's see, the rest of the globe out here, some movement up in Iceland. Uh, let's go check out Santorini area. This is the uh, geophysics site there from the Greece area. We'll check out the recorded view, see if there's anything uh, of interest out here in the Santorini, Greece region. This area, oh man, they at a swarm of activity here in the last couple months probably 20,000 earthquakes or so in a sequence of uh you know major swarming with no outcome no no uh cause and effect type of deal just a bunch of earthquakes a few showing up there on the map uh, i don't really see anything of abnormal activity if we look at the region here from the raspberry shake data site there's the uh, Santorini area. There's a, most of the swarming region back over here to the northeast. 212 earthquakes in the last seven days. So just uh, some periodic earthquake activity continuing there. No advancement, no elevated movement as of right now, though. Let's see if we got anything else going on here across the area. Three-pointer up in Iceland. Let's go check out the... Um, Iceland website real quick see if there's anything new to report this was uh, put out a few days ago they were just chatting about how the magma accumulation is uh, continuing underneath the Savart Singhi area around uh, just northeast of Grindavik so uh, it doesn't look like nothing new there uh, for now 
loss of data here on the solar flare de detection. At least on, uh, looks like it's on Kevin's site on the solar ham site, but not on the Space Weather Prediction Center. Here, i uh, got a little sea flare activity in the last couple hours, but really nothing big going on. Uh, the sun is, uh, I believe it's past solar maximum now. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be sometime in June of this year. Well, they claimed that it peaked back in uh, the end of 2024. So we should start going down in terms of the number of sunspots as we work our way towards solar minimum here in a few years. Obviously, there's still going to be, you know, a year or two of, of decent chances of solar flare activity before we get down to, uh, you know, if we're lucky, maybe one, one sunspot out here, um, you know, every couple weeks or so. But it's, yeah, solar minimum is definitely coming up. Let's see what we got here for the flaring potential in the magnetogram image. 4054 is about the only region I've been watching right now, but this has a clear cut. Look at that between the polarities right here. Really not expecting much from that one. This area over here is just, uh, it was looking uh, a little interesting here as it crested the eastern limb here a number of days ago, but now it's just gone through a little uh, unorganized stage. Really not expecting much here in solar flare potential right now. Maybe some further sea flare activity. I don't think we're going to even have any, uh, uh, M flare activity out here. Just some C flare movement from um, it could be any one of these sunspots, but nothing big. No major roars in the forecast. A real quick click, a real quick look here at the next five uh, approach asteroids. I don't know. Are they going to let me view it this time? Got a bad gateway. Maybe they're not. They don't want us to see what's coming up. So I'm going to take that. And go over here to the, maybe it's a, uh, yeah, it's just a Google Chrome page. That's a little weird, huh? All right, so works fine on the Edge browser. Not, uh, really not a whole lot of anything coming up here. A couple asteroids, some big ones, but they're all millions of miles away from the planet. So we are good in regards to any close approaches. Storm Prediction Center for severe weather as far as convection goes in the skies above us. Got a little slight risk for some severe weather across the extreme east, southeastern area. Got a little tor tornado threat there in the 5 and the 2% zone. Wind and not so much hail. So just a little bit of tornado and some wind activity out there across these areas today. So keep your eye on the sky just in case things, uh, you know, start brewing out there. Seismograph stations out there all look pretty quiet. The Barrett Station down in Southern California, one little spike of an earthquake, but really nothing of any uh, interest down there. It looks like maybe this earthquake right here. little two-pointer near the Palomar Observatory in the last 15 minutes. But like I said, it's a very small quake. We'll just watch things here today and see what happens. All right. Have yourself a wonderful Monday, folks. I know it's not the best day of the week. Sometimes, you know, maybe maybe it is for a few folks out there. A lot of people love to get up for work early in the morning and do the whole work week again. So I guess it is just, you know, what you make of it, right? So have a good Monday. We'll see you guys out here a little bit later on this evening, folks. Stay safe.